this pebble grain satchel from Dooney and Burke, completely empty, weighs two pounds and 7.2 ounces. Empty. Now let's fill it up and see what poundage we got. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And we are doing a what's in my bag with the weight of the pale blue satchel that I said I was moving into. And you saw the weight as of it being empty was 2.7. So I am going to move this stuff into there. And then we're going to put a charm on and a different strap. And then we're going to see what it weighs when I put my stuff in it. So first, let's talk about this Walmart bum bag. Yes, it looks like a, it's a dupe for the Louis Vuitton bum bag. And of course, it has no LVs. It's just uh, Walmart. And I really like this bag. It's comfortable when I went to a fish fry and I didn't have to worry about anything about this bag. It has the back zipper pocket. And this is where I would put my phone and hung it up on my outdoor chair. And it was perfect. And this flap is really not that annoying to me. Because how many times you get in and out, it's really easy to get in and out of. And here's what it looks like. And so, I'm going to probably put the extra things in a pouch for my Dooney and Burke satchel. And then I will pack this stuff up and then we'll weigh it. <laughs> so, I'm going to use this pouch since it's a lot. This is formerly known as the small satchel. And let me give you the measurements across. So you'll know it was formerly small and now it is just satchel. I'm going to measure from the bottom and to seam to seam it's 13 and it kind of widens a little bit on the edge but that's it's about 13 and a half across and about eight tall. So that is the size of this bag that I'm going to be moving into. This is such a cute cosmetic pouch. Love all the detail on this purchase here. These are kind of hard to find, but it popped up for a good price and I snatched it. So it's a really cute catch-all and it holds a lot. It even had the tags with it when I bought it. So there is the tag. I think I paid 48 for it. <laughs> so let's just start throwing stuff like my purse hook, my chapstick, BioTrue for my contacts, contact case, lipstick, breath mints, my good girl blush perfume spray, my new Be Pure Watermelon Hand Sanitizer can go in. My Vicks Vapor Inhaler can go in. And I can also put my little duck that I put in this little pouch from Suz. Put that in there. And see how much this little pouch holds a lot. This little cosmetic pouch, but I use it for a catch-all. So we just have left our wallet, keys, and pin turned, gum, and of course I have to have my fan. And it's really hot, so I need this. So I'm going to try to limit what I put inside here for weight, so I won't be hating this of how heavy it is. So let's just start putting that stuff in. And on this is just the pebbled leather with the whip stitching handles. The red interior has a slip pocket. 
and two slip pockets on this side, one here in a zipper pocket. And let's just start putting in my cosmetic case, pin, keys, my Dooney and Burke small zip around wallet, and my fan. Because those are all the necessities that I need to put in here. <laughs> But I do want to dress this bag up, of course, with my chubby duck charm. And yes, it, it will add some weight, but I feel like it needs a charm. And for the strap, I'm not going to use the strap that came with it. I'm going to use this strap. I talked about this uh, in my last video. I'll put it down below. I wanted to try like a guitar strap. Um, this does not exactly match or anything, but it still doesn't have to. I mean, it looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to wear this strap. And I don't know if I'm going to do it crossbody or just a shoulder. Because it is a bulky bag as it is. So I might just do shoulder carry. So I just tighten this up. I believe I got this strap off Amazon. I'll try to link it if I can find it or other options like this. I just like the idea of a more comfortable carry when I have this giant <laughs> Dooney and Burke satchel. So it, it can go to shoulder length no problem. So I'm probably going to do that. Are you ready to weigh? <laughs> and you saw what I put inside. So now let the verdict verdict of what it's going to weigh. So with it being full of my things, and you saw it wasn't a lot of things, we're at 4 pounds, 3.8 ounces. So... If you watched my short, and I was joking, using the satchels as uh, bicep curls <laughs> instead of weights, now you see why. And I didn't put that much in it, so that is just what you're looking at when you're looking at at least the pebble grain leather. So yeah, it's a heavy bag, but I want to use it. I loved it back when I got it five years ago. It's time to use it again. And this time I'm going with the guitar strap. I may in the future get a different one that would go better with this. But tell me what you think. Have you tried a guitar strap with your satchel? Let me know down below in the comment section. I know it doesn't exactly match, but still... It's still cute. It has some pink um, and blue. I don't know if it has blue in it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but anyway, that is my video for today. I just kind of wanted you all to realize you got to pack a little bit lighter. <laughs> I don't pack a lot of stuff in my bags as it is, but with this one, you really just don't want to overpack it. And if I didn't mention, this is pale blue and pebble grain leather. And I need to carry it since I'm on my no buy June. And today is the 25th and I am doing strong. I have not bought a bag. I've been enjoying what I have. It's been really good to figure out my own collection because I have a lot of purses. So it's important to go through them and wear them again to see if you actually do still like the bags so this is my next carry i just wanted to show you the weight and what i carried inside of it and uh, that's all i have for today i appreciate you all for stopping by and watching and if you don't mind if you like this video give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It's free. And I would appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, I would love to have you comment down below. Do you have one of these satchels? Have you tried the guitar strap like I'm going to try? Did you wear it crossbody? Did you wear it shoulder? Leave me down below what you have done. Because <laughs> I know a lot of us have these satchels. So, anyway, thank you again for watching, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!